Today I'll be making chicken adobo. First, add one cup of rice to your Instapot. Then add two cups of water. Place the lid on, sealed, and press the rice button. It does it itself. Take eight chicken thighs bone and skin on and place them in a large container. Add 11 teaspoons of minced garlic, one teaspoon of cracked pepper, one teaspoon of peppercorns, three tablespoons of palm sugar, one and a quarter cups of rice vinegar, a half cup of soy sauce, a quarter of a cup of dark soy sauce, and a half a cup of water. Add four to five bay leaves. Mix the chicken in the marinade Cover and let refrigerate two to 12 hours. Remove the chicken from the marinade and sear skin side down until it is brown on the skin side. Do this in batches not to overcrowd the pan. Once seared, remove the chicken and place it separately on a plate. Then deglaze the pan with a little bit of rice wine. You want all the flavor of the crunchies on the bottom. Then add the deglazing and the chicken into a braising pot. On high heat, bring the marinade and the chicken to a boil. Then turn down the heat to a simmer and cover for 30 minutes. At the 30 minute point, flip the chicken so it is submerged on the other side and then recover and simmer for another 30 minutes. Once the 30 minutes is up, remove the lid and let continue to simmer for 12 to 15 minutes until the sauce thickens. Once the sauce is thickened, remove the chicken and place it on a bed of jasmine rice. Then spoon on some of the marinade on top of the chicken and maybe a little on the bed of rice. Once I was done topping the sauce, I added a sprinkle of green onions and then I took a taste. I ended up eating half the plate because it was so delicious before I ended up taking my final photo. So if you would like to try this recipe and find out, don't just take my word for it. What's on the menu next?